first guest became daytime royalty when she portrayed the sweeter half of the infamous Patch and Kalo on Days of Our Lives. Now, after nearly 20 successful years in daytime, she's taken up permanent residence in Oakdale. Take a look. Why didn't you go to the police as soon as you discovered it? I was on my way. I wanted to protect Lucy. <gasps> please. Come on. You knew about those gloves long before the fight. But you deliberately held out saying anything. Now, why was that? <laughs> please. Don't bother searching for lies, because you and I both know the answer to that. You didn't tell anybody because you desperately needed to say, I told you so. Please welcome from As the World Turns, Mary Beth Evans. Thank you. Welcome. Last time I saw you was at the Soho Grand Hotel mm -hmm. in New York at like 11 o'clock mm -hmm. at night. We were Looking checking beautiful, in. Looking beautiful, weren't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you had just gotten the role. Well, I've been doing this part actually for four years. Oh. And staying at the Soho Grand that time was the last time I stayed in the hotel. And okay. then now, since I've gone contract and I go there every week, I rented an apartment. You did. And what, what exactly happened? Because I had heard you were going to One Life to Live, mm -hmm. and then next thing you know, you're on contract with As the World Turns. I, crazy, huh? Yeah. It was actually very simple. They, um, I was uh, sort of a break from As the World Turns, and they said it's probably going to be a few months before we have you back. And then One Life called, and they said, um, hey, we'd like you to come on and do this show. And I said, well, let me call As the World Turns. I don't want to burn any bridges, and I love them there. And, right. and um, they said, go, have fun, call us when you're done. So I said, OK. And then a few weeks later, you know, well, I didn't think it was a week later, they called and said, no, we'd like to put you in a contract, actually, and really write for you if you can make the trip. I said yes, and uh, Peyton List was leaving her apartment, right. and she said, I'm leaving this apartment, and her, man her uh, uh, manager said, if you wire money to this number, you can have it. So I rented it sight unseen. Oh, and great. It was all so crazy, and I kept thinking, this is great, except for I have three kids, and I live in California. Yeah, you know, except this for is I have crazy. a whole other life yeah. that I'm leading in California. And, right. How are you doing that commute? Well, it's funny, because I was telling your producer the other day, oh, it's great, it's also great, I'm drinking water, I think again. And then I, got, I was on a public bus coming home the other day in New York, and I, so this guy coughed, and my whole hair kind of blew up. And oh. I thought, and now I have a terrible cold. Of course you do. So, I'm, so That's you know. That's going to be the hardest part, right, probably, is staying is, well. Is staying well. Because right. the kid, how do the kids handle it? Well, they're, my kids are older. Right. Well, you've seen them. We right. go to each other at Mexican restaurants. That's too. Right. My kids are all there. We yeah. see each other all the time. <laughs> That's right. That's right. There's so, there yeah. are. That's yeah. there. <laughs> wow. So how do they feel about it? Everybody was excited, and they thought it was fun, and sort of thought the adventure of it would be fun for me. And they really thought, an apartment in New York, and we get to come go shopping right. and hang out. Right. right. So um, this weekend, actually, is the first time that they're coming. And uh, my husband has really stepped up to the plate, and he rushes home from work to go to everybody's sporting things and whatever. And um, and the kids have had to rise yes. to the occasion too, because you know it's a sort of a family thing, and it's kind of neat to support someone in the family doing something. And my kids have always been proud and happy for me, and we sort of want that, you know, for them to have those feelings for people sure. in their life. And they grew up while you were working. Absolutely. I mean, you've always worked. Mm -hmm. I, actually, when Kayla and Patch had their first love scene, I was six months pregnant. Oh, really? Yeah. And wow. I, they would put me in these, like, you know, like half slips that are supposed to go to the floor. Yeah. And uh, they would just pull it up here, you know. And, they, <laughs> and, he, and he would walk in, and I would drop my clothes, and they'd say, so you, you feel and look sexy. You know, and I'm like, you know, well. It's strange. It's very strange. To do a love scene when you're pregnant? Very. And it's happened to me several times. Yeah. yeah. And bigger oh, and bigger. At least three. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say several. <laughs> now, hopefully no more than three. Yeah, no, that's, that's it. <laughs> um, so now, how long have you been married? You've been married, what, 20, 20 years almost? Uh, 19. 19. I guess we just celebrated our 19th. Wow. <laughs> And you guys met while, your, your husband and you met while you were doing a play, right? I started at South Coast Repertory Theater mm -hmm. and, in Orange okay. County, right. and he, uh, he came to visit someone that was in the play, and uh, she introduced us, and it really was love at first sight. And I was 19, I had never seen snow fall, and I moved to Chicago in January. What does that tell you? It's love, right? How, so, how fast was the transition from... I met him at the end of September and moved there January 1st. Oh, so it was pretty quick. Yeah. Wow. And you were a California girl. I, I really, I had an a oceanfront... You know, Ocean View apartment, and I moved to the back of a brownstone in Chicago. It was wow. Oh, it was you better crazy. love that man for that. But thank God he came back here and did his residency here, and um, soon after I, you know, started working here. Well, we got. I want to talk to you about Patch and Kayla. Mm. When we come back, <laughs> we will talk to Mary Beth Evans about Patch and Kayla. Coming up next, Mary Beth Evans tells how she really felt when the legacy of Patch and Kayla ended. Later, we're back in the surreal gourmet's kitchen where things aren't. Patch 
hatching, Kayla. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I'll never yes. die. Never die. Oh, I don't want to. Look at us. Look at this. Ah, look at this Never should it. Oh, that is a funny picture. Look at that. I think I was pregnant did, there. I look pregnant there. Did you um, know at the time what a big phenomenon this was? No. No. Of course not. I don't think anybody knows what's going to happen. But I was paired with him from the very first day. Mm -hmm. Very first day. And uh, he came in to read with me, and he had this, you know, the scar and the patch, and, I, and took it all very seriously. It's leather jacket. And I was thinking, wow, wow. But um, we had a lot of chemistry right from the start, and... Um, and we're still, we are great friends. We, when I would have kids, he'd come to the hospital, he'd hold them. Oh. He was so sweet. Oh, God, so sweet. I had problems, actually, with one of my friends. He drove me to the doctor because it happened during the day when we were working. While and you were taping, you're saying? Yeah, and he had oh, to wow. sit there with me. And I, I actually, with uh, my second, with my daughter, I had placenta previa, if I don't think I can say that out loud. But, um, and he drove me to the doctor. And then I had to, went through a whole period where I was picked up uh, at my house and brought in a wheelchair to the set. And I kind of crawled to the chair and did oh. my scene sitting down. They put me back in the wheelchair, drive me home, you know. Wow. Yeah, you're not to get sick during daytime. No. no. And finally, no. The, doctor, do it anyway. the doctor said, you know, you can't, you have to stay home now and be bedridden. I said, but I'm, I'm on a continuing drama. I, I can't. <laughs> I'm Kayla. Yeah. And they, they <laughs> recast well, we the part. You. Yeah. They, they had somebody oh, they else did. come in for a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. But now, we are still great like friends. It must have been an unbelievably hard time when Stephen Nichols left the show. It was sad. Yeah. But, but like I said, we have remained great friends. Mm -hmm. And um, then he came to General Hospital when I was there. And, right. uh, and we still see each other now. I mean, we meet up for lunch. And uh, he just did a movie that he wrote and directed. And it's in the um, festivals now, the circuit and stuff. So, you know, great. he's a very talented guy. So he'll. I, I've heard you, or at least I've read, where you've talked about how idealistic you were at the time. Where you felt mm. that you were very idealistic. And you were very committed to Patch and Kayla. Do you think that you were doing the right thing being that committed? Or do you think that at that point you should have just kind of been more open to Kayla moving on in her life? I think uh, I, didn't, I didn't know better probably was a lot of it. You know, as we get older in daytime, you're like, whatever. Give me the right. script. I'll make it work. I don't care. Who, who am I with? I don't care. But you got to work with Charles Shaughnessy yeah. after and, and that. And we were great friends too. But that was funny too because we were great friends the whole time I was on the show. It's funny because when we had our first kiss, I would just be hysterically laughing. And it really kind of got to him until finally he just like grabbed me and kissed me. And he said, there, I just had to know that you could do it Aww. without laughing. Because we were just such good friends. It felt silly. We felt like it was yeah. my brother or yeah. something. But, but, yeah, we had a great time. Well, I know last time you were here, you talked about your Christmas traditions of doing the family Christmas card every uh -huh. year. Yeah. Did you guys, did it's you a guys... big thing with my friends. I don't know about you guys, but we, um, we all take pictures of our kids. And if you don't see your friends for a year or two years, if you get that picture every year, you go, oh, my God. That's what they love it. Like and I have to say, yeah. I display them all in my kitchen so because, I. because I feel like they work so hard. I'm not going to just toss it, right? So, um, but for me, it's really fun to take a minute and say, oh, look at how big they've gotten. So, um, I do it too. And uh, one year, my husband and I used to take the pictures. And uh, my older son has always been kind of a pistol. And, and uh, finally, my husband was like, that's it. You are out of the picture. You're out. And my son was like, you, you can't kick me out of the Christmas picture. You can't, you know? <laughs> so I actually, they, they got on this different, uh, on a swing in our yard. But we kind of, we lived in an area where people couldn't see. But I mooned them. You mooned them? And then them. they all laughed. And it was, I wish I had it. I didn't bring that picture. But oh, I got to try that. It was I'm so try funny. That. It was so funny, and their laughs were so genuine and so cute. cute. It looked like we had, you know, our kids loved us, and everything was beautiful. And so was funny. Very cute. Meanwhile, mom's mooning the kids. Yeah, right. <laughs> Remember that. Yeah. I am. I Remember will. It. So this last year, every year, I had either got someone to do the picture, or we took the picture, and I would pay the, you know, whatever money to have a Christmas card made. And then this last year, I was kind of behind, so I actually, you know, like the week before Christmas, and I thought, well, I'll just take the picture with my digital camera, and I'll go buy some card paper, and I made my own. But I hand wrote it with a silver ink on a piece of red paper with the picture, and it looked absolutely as good as anyone I had bought. A fraction of the price. Yeah, so now I'm hooked. Because there was love in it. That's right. And now I'm hooked, and I'm not, I'm not spending the money anymore. It's well, easier you know what? Stuff. Lisa and I need to make Christmas cards, so we're coming to you. Okay. Yeah, I have my pictures. Card. I have a lot of glue sticks. I have the pictures, yeah. so I'll just bring it uh, yeah. to you. You can help me. Thank you so much for joining good us today. Good to see you again. It's always great to see you. Good luck on Angela. Yeah, yeah.